You have to let it all go, Neo. Fear, doubt, and disbelief. Free your Correctly. Mind. They are taught how to enslave the masses. Let me try to explain. I learned many things about the elite. And one of the first things I learned was to listen to their buzzwords. Probably the next most important thing and by the way, let me pause here long enough to say, any movie that comes out of Hollywood, uh, any uh, uh, liberal news media, any program that I might watch on any given afternoon, I can pick out buzzwords. I have tuned my mind and my ear over 35 years uh, to listening to what these people have to say and things that the average person would probably never pick up on immediately they stand out in my mind the elite the second thing I learned most important thing about the elite they have a code of ethics <laughs> now I know this sounds strange and especially when it's coming from a man who's been a minister of the gospel for 55 years but the elite do have a code of ethics now, their code of ethics is quite different than your code of ethics and my code of ethics. My code of ethics is the Word of God, the Bible. My Savior is Jesus Christ. And everything that I do in life revolves around obedience to the Word of God, if at all possible. And I have to overcome the flesh, as everyone else does, in order to do that. But the elite have a code of ethics also. Their code of ethics, one of the facets of their code of ethics is they must tell you everything they're going to do before they do it. You heard me correctly. They will tell you through a Hollywood movie. They will tell you through buzzwords. They will tell you through expressions that you may hear on the national media. But if you know how to tune your ear to listen to what the elite are saying, you will know everything that's going to take place tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. If you know how to listen to what they're telling you. Many of you remember years ago, George Herbert Bush. Uh, remember he had been the head of the CIA and then he was sent as ambassador to China. And then he came back to America and was vice president under Mr. Reagan and then he became the president of the United States of America and he coined an expression later entitled New World Order. Did I understand what he was saying back then? No. I do today. <laughs> you do too. Because it is influencing your life. Did he know what he was saying? Did his elitist friends know what he was telling them? You better believe it. They knew 10 years and 20 years down the line. He used to use another expression entitled, thousand points of light. Did that mean anything to you? Didn't to me. Does it today? You better believe it. The elite must tell you what they're going to do before they do it. Now, let me give you an everyday one that maybe you've thought of and maybe you've never thought about. Social security. Did you catch it? They did. In fact, when the social security system was put in by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, did he know what he was doing? He was the first socialist president of the United States of America. Did he know what social security was? Come on now, what is socialism? Socialism is the exact opposite of freedom. 
socialism is is your, is your formation of, of a socialistic communistic system. Is America a socialistic country? No. We are a constitutional republic and we the people tell the government what to do. The government doesn't tell us what to do. We are supposed to be telling the government what to do. Now what did what what word did they use there? They were telling you and they were telling me many many years ago where they were headed did anybody pick up on it? Oh we fell for it didn't we? Well, you might have. I didn't. No, I won't be their slave. You see, I learned something out there in those seminars in the Bahamas. Their young elitists in training are taught to make slaves out of you, everything, and own nothing. In the history of this nation, have so many people been for the cause of freedom and human dignity. Now let me say this, keep this movement going, keep this movement rolling. Long as we keep moving like we are moving, the power structure will have to give in. In spite of the difficulties,